talking about normality, talking about things that might give you hope for the future. Look at what happened with that event. Remember that event I covered the other day or covered, you know, a couple of episodes ago? They had basically a trial event that took place in Liverpool, uh, a trial rave where they essentially wanted to um, ensure that the protocols that they had in place were working and ensure that if large amounts of people gather in an open space or in a closed environment such as a rave, that there wouldn't be an outbreak of COVID. Well, look what happened. This is courtesy of the Times. Exclusive. Just 15 positive COVID tests among thousands who flocked to Wembley and Brit Awards. So I guess it was, well, three events, I guess, overall, Wem the Wembley, Brit Awards, and um, the one in Liverpool. So let's, go, let's continue here with the article. So the following. <clears throat> Just 15 people among the 58,000 who took part in the government-run trials for the reopening of large events tested positive for COVID, the Telegraph can reveal. Um, the trials included the FA Cup final, the semi-final at Wembley, the Brit Awards at O2, and DJ sets at the Circus Nightclub in Liverpool. So they covered basically the whole remit of events that you'd want in order to kind of get an understanding as to why what works and what doesn't. You've got arenas, you've got stadiums kind of things with the, with the O2 arena, and then you've got the sort of like open you know sort of like open warehousey sort of space so everything sort of ticked off it continues the low rate of infection seen during the events research program has delighted officials and raised of hopes that mass events can safely reopen this summer june 21st cannot wait cannot wait let's get loaded let's get wrecked the final touches are being made for the report making recommendations expected to be handed to boris johnson within days the main findings will be that large events can be conducted largely if mitigating measures such as pre and post event testing and improved ventilation are used it increases the chances that mr johnson will push ahead with reopening large events on june 21st although any such reopening is likely to come with rules of how they can uh, be staged obviously there was some trepidation out there because people were worried about this new indian variant of the, this new indian variation of the variant or new indian variant of the virus whatever it is right but it's looking like things can go back to some semblance of normality and i cannot wait um the events research program which ran through april and may saw nine different events with large crowds, with live crowds, sorry, um, each is designed with and monitored by the scientists. They also included the World Snooker Championship in Sheffield, a business conference and festival Republic gig in Liverpool, and a reunion 5K run in Kempton Park in Surrey. It's actually criminal that you can't go on a park run now at the moment. You can go to a supermarket and, you know, browse around all the cold food aisles and stand around talking to some, some security guards and having a flipping fry up in a coffee shop, but you can't go on a 5K park run. How does that make sense? Jesus Christ. Roughly 58,000 people in total who attended the events were required to take part in or take a, both a PCR test and a lateral flow test before and afterwards. Multiple sources told the Telegraph that just 15 positive COVID cases have so far been detected. And you also have to imagine over the course of those events, the ages and the ages and weights and, you know, races and all that people, people that did get the COVID test or the, you know, the 15 positive ones kind of does vary a lot. So it does give hope to the events to go through because there's no like common theme that runs through people that got the positive test. This is flipping amazing. And I'm assuming now because people are now getting um texts. Um, some of my friends have also got texts of going um, to go get vaccines. So that's going to get rolled out fairly quickly. So we're going to get back to some semblance of normality very soon. I cannot wait. It's understood some of those people were tested before the events, meaning they, they were not able to attend. Um, others tested positive afterwards. So nice mix there. It remains possible that other positive tests from the most recent events could um, emerge with the FA Cup final and reunion 5K only having taken place last weekend. One theory for how some people may have tested negative on the way in but positive afterwards is that they have only just caught the virus and not yet been infectious. Um, other factors may be at play with a low positive rate likely to reflect in the low levels of COVID being detected in the wider population. Uh, another question is whether everyone who attended the events took tests afterwards as required. It remains unclear whether the published version of the final report will include a total number of tests after the events. One source said the study was the most authoritative of the in the world about how large events can safely be reopened. The source said the recommendation would be that you can move forward and you can reopen the event sector. It could be proportionate to do so given the task. All decisions about reopening rest with Mr. Johnson, who would handle the conclusion on multiple reviews as well as the likely state on COVID before deciding what to reopen on June 21st. How the inner variant develops will also be critical to the decision 
decision making uh, concerns it could also be more transmissible than other cases but we don't care about that i want to get back to normality i really do and i'm glad that this report is basically telling us what we already knew that large-scale events um have just about as much risk as going to a supermarket they always have done but i guess they kind of sacrificed them they were basically the sacrificial lamb to kind of serve a wider purpose in terms of making sure people were compliant um because if you just had raves going on and supermarkets open at the same time people wouldn't really take the virus seriously they wouldn't wear masks where necessary so i guess you had to close down some things and sacrifice it but unfortunately people in that industry had to be the ones that were the sacrificial lamb you know cases of mental health definitely went up some people unfortunately self-expired so it's been a real catastrophe of a situation but hopefully now no more loads of no more lives will be lost no more lives will be greatly impacted by this um you know pause in time and june 21st is only a few weeks away and i cannot wait to go back out and rave again i cannot wait i'm legitimately gonna go out somewhere on the sunday probably gonna go to somewhere really awful like egg or something that's my plan i might go to just egg on a monday and just on sunday night and just get absolutely blasted right just be in the toilet just like taking copious amount of ketamine right getting absolutely wired i don't even like ketamine but i just might do it just because you know what i mean just be like <sighs> come back in the morning all bunged up and stuff that'd be mad i'm gonna do that i might actually do that and do a little vlog i'll probably get deleted off of youtube but it'll do well it'll, it'll get some numbers it'll get me some virality so get me some viral attention some vi virality is that you say it? virality whatever it is yeah um i go doing ketamine in egg <laughs> watch this space if you see me in egg you know trying to you know um spinning in, in a circle you'll know why you'll bloody know why